think this is it. What happens now? I believe we will return to our places in time. A new timeline. So, we'll retain the memories? We'll see. Oh, wow. Temporal displacement. Gotta love it. Nexus points all closed and the universe has begun to settle. All good. Hmm? What's that, old girl? Ah, I see. Having a quick rest? Well, I suppose I'll go and have a look around in the meantime. Ah, bad move, old girl. I'm not quite welcome in London currently. You've locked me out. This isn't any time for games. Emergency action four. So what's happened here? Wait, what was that? A crashing TARDIS. Well, I think I'd best follow it. Classic model. Very classic. Perhaps from an older era of Gallifrey. <sighs> Best hurry. Can't have the authorities seeing me. Reminds me of the bow tie guy. Wait, someone's over there. Excuse me? You all right? Oh no, my first face. What was I wearing? These, these consoles have been altered. They're not Gallifreyan, but yet they feel so similar. Doctor. Ah, wait, Fraser. Excuse me? Fraser, what are you doing in that white gown? I am the Warden of Time. <laughs> no way. We need your assistance. Look, sir. What's going on here? The others are awake. Wow. Oh, hello. Two other versions. Hello. I'm the Doctor. Yeah, I know, mate. They are not your previous selves. They are variants from within the multiverse. Was about to ask. The controls seem really wrong. An alternate TARDIS from another Gallifrey, Doctor. So, going to tell me what's going on here? Danger approaches, Doctor. A danger that will affect the entire multiverse. Got that. Move on. I... Well, there is a shockwave approaching this universe. The multiverse itself has been affected, and it is being destroyed. This universe is all that's left. Ah, that makes sense. We've kind of had a clear-out of our own here. A clear-out? Yeah. Universe rebuilding. That usual stuff that you wardens are all used to, I'm sure. I am the only warden. Oh, oh I can dear. tell you're going to be difficult to get a laugh out of. No, this is no laughing matter, madam. Oh, steady there, old timer. Old timer? Madam, please. We haven't got the time for frivolity. How much time do we have? A day, perhaps? Until this shockwave hits us. And then it is the end of all of creation itself.
Let me explain. We had a chance, Warden. We had a chance to stop it before it even happened. We did, but we failed, Doctor. We cannot dwell on this. The mission continues. So, uh, uh, to Dimension One? Precisely. As we have phased back in time, we are at the very beginning of the event. I see. So we will have time to stop this. A second chance, yes. Now, with my abilities, we should be able to transfer both of us and this ship to Dimension One. Then you must do it, Warden. Otherwise, we shall be wasting our time. Hm. Very well. Oh. oh my, what was that? Check the scanner. Brilliant, Warden. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yes, we are approaching Dimension One. Hmm? Eh, hey, what's that? Oh, some phasing of the engines, perhaps. It is to be expected as we enter the new dimension. Ah, uh, no. No. Uh, something seems... more irregular than, than that. Wait! Timing malfunction! What does that mean? Oh, we've crossed our own timeline, Warden. But I am maintaining the link. Yes, and so is your past self. At the same time. It's clashing with this version of the TARDIS. There are two Wardens, both maintaining the same link. Ah, I did not foresee this. But what matters is that we are crashing. Are you able to guide us to Earth safely? I can certainly try, but remember, I was a Matrix Observer, not a pilot. Uh, uh, Gordon? Something is happening to me. I can't... I can't focus within the... Gordon! I had to release our guests from, uh, their cryogenic containment. Uh, this is our final mission, and we must complete it, at all costs. So what exactly happened to you, Warden? Now that I am truly settled within this dimension, I am able to be whole. However, when I was present within the multitude, there could not be two versions of myself coexisting. Because there is only one Warden of Time? Precisely, Doctor. So, you too? Yes. You're the Doctor too? Well, me but with different lives. It would seem so. What's different about you two? Well, from our perspective, our lives proceeded exactly how they should have. Oh, likewise for myself, Doctor. Although I do have a habit of finding variants of me who ran away from Gallifrey. Wow, and you're the good boy who stayed on Gallifrey? I am Coordinator Sigma of the Matrix Observers. Blimey. Now we must venture outside and begin to solve our present, uh, issue. And we seem to have time. You don't realise where you've landed, do you? You're in the middle of London in the 21st century. I haven't had the opportunity to properly visit Earth. Wow. Where have we landed? Hyde Park. And what is Hyde Park, if you please? Very public space, attracts a lot of attention. Gina, cancel my two o'clock meeting with Colonel Stevenson. I think I'm likely to meet with him now. Oh, uh, yes, okay, yeah. Uh, tell her to reschedule lunch. This is going to be a long day. Uh, thanks. Henry! Long time. Oh, Razor! It's good to see you. Still at unit? Yeah. Still as an operative. Well, it's your choice. I've always left a place for you at Torchwood. Mm, I know. No, it's just you today. This was an Omega level threat. You think the darts is involved? A TARDIS crashed from the sky into the centre of Hyde Park. We were lucky nobody was killed. And if it's not the Doctor, well, we could be dealing with someone else. Right. 
You mean the master? Exactly. Anyway, shall we? Sure. Soldiers, with me! Brought the cavalry, I see. Of course. Right, let's get going. I wasn't told until a few minutes ago you'd be. Oh, you know, the whole Omega level threat deal and also cooperation between different company bodies and all that. Corporate speech. I thought you and it could handle it themselves. That was before all your funding got cut in 2017, wasn't it? Look, I'm not here to step on anyone's toes, Henry. I've got enough to do as the leader of Torchwood as it is. So let's just get down there and solve whatever's happened here. Honestly, no offence to take him, Fraser. I agree. Let's do this. Hmm. It does look a lot like the Master's TARDIS. Soldiers, bear arms. I thought you were just an operative, Mr. Woodman. Yeah, the only one here. I mean, someone's got to take charge. Hiya! Please don't shoot. Who are you? Doctor? Henry! Good to see you. So I'll just put your guns down. How long's it been? Yeah, uh, months, I think. And Fraser. At least, I hope it is Fraser this time. This time? Wait, yes. I remember you from that whole Omega business. <laughs> yep, that's right. I've literally just left that whole thing, and then I've ended up in this mess. Who'd have thought? So what are you doing here? And is this the TARDIS? Oh, this? No, no. It's more complicated than that. It is very complicated. Soldiers! Calm down, please. We seem to be in a bad situation right now, and any shooting will not solve it. Soldiers, guns down. Thank you, Henry. Who's that? That's... That's me. No, I am the Warden of Time. What? Oh, it's very bright out here. Wait, that's another doctor. <sighs> yes. All right, everybody else out. Oh my God. Don't tell me this is another one of those events. No. Yes. Yes. What's happening then? The multiverse is dying, my boy. We don't have time to waste. This is the last day of your universe before it is wiped from existence. How many more of these are we due to have? Warden, could you convince your variant of the situation? If he is anything like the other we encountered, I suspect he will not be as forthcoming. We need to get to unit now. What for? If this universe is anything like my own, then I know there is a genetic and temporal splicer at the headquarters. Well, it's always worth checking. Let's go. Oh, um, uh, uh, what about the ship? You just lock up and I'm sure unit will keep a guard on it. Oh, well, thank you, young sir. me asking. Yes? What's so different about you, in your universe? I was told that my friend was supposed to die. Josh? Josh Mulligan, yes. But he doesn't? I'm certain he is now. When the warden took me, the Daleks were about to attack. It's been so long since. I fear that they'll be dead. If this shockwave is stopped, then there may be a way to reverse it, to reset events. Maybe. But if the shockwave's here, then it means my universe is dead. And him? Oh, the hope was romantic. Yeah, he seems hung up on Amelia Pond. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah, in his universe, he didn't regenerate into the bowtied man. He carried on as this and met Amelia. How such small changes can create large fractures. Quite. And you? I'm not entirely sure. From what I was aware, this was Dimension One. It is. So, are we saying that this is the Prime Universe? I don't like to call it that. It's one variant of one larger multiverse. I found it. You do have it. Good. What are you thinking that we do? We splice our universal signature from our genetic material. 
and we use it to jumpstart the multiverse. That's great. Just one problem. What's that? You have to stop the shockwave first. Yeah, that's fair. Where are the others? Preparing themselves for the splicer. What's that? Oh, hang on! Right, uh, temporal signature on the roof. Then let's go and check it out. Some portal just opened up on the roof. Oh, could it be refugees from the, uh, other universes, do you think? Let's take a look. Let's go. Definitely working to a different universal frequency. Sophie's visitors are definitely from another universe. But who could they be? That's a TARDIS. Who's TARDIS is that? What the hell? The Supreme Leader. Ah, oh, excellent. You've got to help me. Silence. <laughs> the attack. That shockwave you mentioned, it's here. And who is this man? This man was an old friend of mine at the Academy. He now goes by the name of the Master. One of his twisted dedications are to killing me. I assume you're another variant? Yes, I am. I am the Supreme Leader of Gallifrey and the Universe. And why are you here? In fact, how are you here? The last time I saw you, the Citadel was completely destroyed. You think I wouldn't have a backup plan, you fool? I simply used a temporal displacement and found myself with this idiot. <laughs> now, I'm in the understanding that the multiverse is under threat? Yes, that's right. Well, I've brought with me the culprit. <sighs> Whoa, stop. Don't hurt him. He's killed trillions of people in every universe that could ever be. This isn't the way, Doctor. I am not the Doctor. You will address me as Supreme Leader or Sir. Supreme Leader, the multiverse is already dying. This is no time to be cutting down our numbers already. Just explain to me what happened. It would appear that there was a mutiny at hand. The Master, the Rani, and the Twenty were planning on using a multiversal engine. From Dimension 464? Yes. How do you know- Because my last body had the same face as yours, sir. I know what this is now and how we can stop it. Then what is it, Doctor? The multiversal engine was a weapon that wiped out the Earth within the dimension I mentioned earlier. It sat dormant, but the same trio from my Earth tried to use it. And it failed? I was able to use my TARDIS to hold back the wave, but I had to share the damage with her. It almost killed us both. Then we must do that again. I don't know if it'll work. What? If the wave has successfully breached multiple universes, then it will be too powerful. Uh, we theorise that the wave itself could be slowed uh, by the rate of decay. Again, it's possible. However, when I stopped the wave, we had already worked out what was about to happen, and we made provisions for it. A runaway wave of destruction is a little bit trickier. Well, we have some information from Dataline Industries about this. That could come in handy. I want the situation resolved. It can be. We have records. Records? I'll explain once we're back downstairs. Now, let that man go. You are not in a position to be giving orders. Right. I shall make my position clear. If you are unable to make this work, I will make sure you are all killed. Won't make much difference when the wave hits us and destroys us. Very well. I shall have to demonstrate to prove my resolve. No! I said- Do not proceed to give me orders. Now. Let's get to work. Are you putting together all of the DNA splices? We only have a couple of people left, but yes, I'm testing a small dose from each person to see if the theory works. Do you think the Warden will be able to restore our universes? I hope. I will try. <gasps> Where did you come from? I'm always here, even when powerless. Powerless? Whilst my previous self still exists within the infinitude, I cannot use my powers. The balance of the universe? Only one can exist. These are uncertain times. Times that require delicate precision. The Supreme Leader. Indeed, Warden. Now, you. 
Show me the records. Will do. What's going on here? I am in command now. This is ridiculous. We have to work together. No, we need a leader. And who better? I can think of a few. I should ignore that comment, but only once. Here we go. Project Emerus. What is it? Interdimensional travel discovered by Katie Hart in 2016. Are you suggesting that we go to the wave itself? Yes. Attack the wave before it attacks us. It may not be that simple. How so? We're synthesizing all of our DNA splices. We just need a couple more. And what will that do? It would create a genetic print for the rebirth of the multiverse, and it would allow our own universes to be reborn alongside that. Good. Now what's the plan? We take the altered TARDIS back into the space between universes and send this pulse out. I am currently powerless. However, until the wave is almost at this dimension, I cannot use my abilities. Then that's why we have the interdimensional travel research here. We can use this to do that. Then do it. Right, I'm going to attach the device to the TARDIS control unit. Need any help? No, keep that one company. Oh, very well. Hello, Doctor. We can fix this. Amy would never have died now. It's not your fault, you know. I know. We can solve this if we put our minds to it. It's not fair. No, it's not. Now come on, let's fix this mess. Of course. They've taken off, and their signature is beginning to fade from this universe. Uh, will they succeed, Wharton, do you think? The flow of time never stops. Time will proceed how she wants us to. Blimey, has he always spoken like this? Uh, yes, quite. Are we through? We're back in the infinitude. Atmospheric shell is active. Good. Do you see it? I do. Look. There's another universe gone. Those poor souls. We don't have any time to waste. Doctor, I need you both. Yes, I am here. Engines primed to vent. Good. Now, here we go. Hang on. Let me see a visual. I see it. The DNA splice has become energy. Raw energy. It's working. Come on. That must be it. Contact. Oh no! What is happening? It appears to be the multiversal wave, Warden. We are out of time. We could lose everything. Ah! Warden, what is it? This is it. This is the moment. The moment we win? No. The moment I go back, my previous self becomes me. What's wrong with him? Warden, what's wrong? Ah! <sighs> Why? Aren't they saving themselves? Why aren't they saving themselves? How can this be? I thought we had more time. It's over, Warden. So soon. We cannot give up, Doctor. We must survive. What are our options? Ha <sighs> ha! Something's wrong. They're not. Uh, uh, they uh, won't. Why? I feel it. Our own past. It's. it's changing. A causal loop. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Warden, Doctor, how did you get out of this originally? I was able to phase the TARDIS through the wave, which seemed to rebound us back to the beginning of this whole series of catastrophic Listen, events. what if that wasn't you? What if that was him? What? The Warden, you mean? The Warden, as I am now, intervening with my own past. It has to happen. It cannot. But it already has. And if you don't, you are both going to die. Do it, Warden. Do it. 
Very well. I must do this. Yeah, maybe I, I, I could phase the TARDIS through the wave, perhaps? Through it. It's a wave of antimatter. It's the only option we have. Very well, do it. With pleasure. It's not working. Something... something happened. Like what? It's over, Ramana. It's all... He, uh... He, he, he did it. Where did the warden go? Warden? Warden? I, uh... Oh, no. For how much longer are we safe, though? Did the warden die? I don't know. The TARDIS signature is gone too. Gone? Nothing is detected. So those fools died and for nothing? They were not fools. No? Then why are they dead? You cannot measure someone's integrity by whether they are alive or dead. Why not? I do. Uh, with our options limited, what can we do now? There is only one thing we can do now. Retreat. Where to, exactly? There must be something beyond. Yes, it would call the multitude, which is currently on the brink of destruction. What was that? It started. The end. My TARDIS is locked off because of Emergency Action 4. Your multiversal TARDIS is destroyed. What else can we do? We have run out of time. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Warden, where are you? I am all around you. Pure energy. He must have used so much energy that he's lost a grip on physical reality. My place of origin is now destroyed, Doctor. Now all that remains is this world. And kill him. What good would that do? No, no. Mr. Woodwind is correct. Uh, do you still have that uh, equipment from Dataline Industries, perhaps? I do. It's here in Unit. And you say it was used for multiversal travel, yes? Yep. Then we transmit the Warden through that. As he is now pure energy, he could uh, counteract the wave's path. This could be possible. However, there are no guarantees. It's the best we've got in this situation. Henry, use that workstation. Access the heart files. We should be able to access the files from there. On it. Right, uh, the system's online. Still needs a bit of work. It looks like they were working on sending someone out there at some point, but this isn't what we need it for. Oh, and the technology is way beyond this time and place. Precisely. Right, so how do we get the warden into the transmitter? Warden, can you hear us? Can you hear us? I can hear you all. I see. Now, what about the transmitter? I will focus on the transmitter. Be ready. Oh, we shall, we shall. Preparing the transmitter for launch. Oh, we don't have much time. Ah, look! The energy! That's the warden. Why can't we hear it? Oh, that doesn't matter. We must activate it now. Are we sure? Of course I'm sure. Ready? Hurry up. Well then, go for it. Activated. The water is away. But are we in time? Oh, okay. Get down! happened. Oh, let me help you, my dear. Oh, thanks. Now, the others? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all good. I'm alive. That's what matters. Now, were we successful? I really don't know, my boy. I really don't know. The transmitter sent the energy into a different dimension. And uh, the wave 
doesn't appear to be returning for us. Oh, thank God. What's this? There's a light. It's surrounding you. What have you done to me? Uh, what was that? He disappeared. Well, perhaps the multiverse is reforming itself, uh, and therefore sending us back to our proper places in uh, space-time and dimensions, of course, as well. Not a bad shout. The Warden sacrificed himself. Sacrificed, yes. But he isn't dead, Captain Ward. Isn't he? I saw it in your eyes. Just for a second. The glow of a warden. Glow? Oh, you are not the first variant we've met of Captain Fraser Ward, you know. We've encountered and heard of several. However, the warden himself is one of a kind. His form cannot exist elsewhere. Uh, are you saying that my face is the warden's? Are you talking about a before shock? A before shock? What are you talking about? Something I literally just had on my last adventure. Basically, it's where a large Nexus event occurs and ripples of those aftershocks fall back through time, or in this case, the multiverse. Hmm. Yes, I, uh, was proposing that. Interesting. Sorry, why am I glowing then? Uh, the Warden is gone. He lives through all the Fraser Wards of the universe. The Warden has, uh, well, I say you could say, phased throughout the whole multiverse. The Warden phased Fraser Ward. Wow, that's clever. Any idea what we're talking about? No clue. Hang on, wh what's happening to you? Oh, my goodness. Doctor? I, I, I think I'm going now as well. Hm. Oh, what does that... Uh, device tell you, eh? You're being pulled back into another dimension. I... I'm going home? It would appear so. Good luck. He's gone. Where to? His own universe? I think so. I, uh... uh... Where am I? Brother, I'm glad you are awake. Brax, is that really you? It is a miracle you're still with us. What happened? You were shot. Mortimus had hold of me and you took a staser for me. The hospital were able to heal your wounds before they became fatal. But you were, uh... Not at all, Theta. You are safe. We are safe. And the Decker? Overthrown. So it was, uh, all a dream? It would appear so, brother. What are you doing? What's that? A piece of, uh, newspaper, Brax. A newspaper? Oh, s similar to a hologram, I suppose. Right. So what is it? 17th of October, 2014. What does that mean? It means that I did indeed travel the multiverse. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Yes, <laughs> it happened, it happened, and we did it. You are going to need to explain yourself, brother. I wonder if she'll let me in now. Ah, finally. I swear that emergency action for thing was always a bother. I remember it well, Henry. So, you are the one after him? 
After Gravity Man? Yeah. Bit of an upgrade, right? Well, I think you're all great anyway. And that's the correct answer, Fraser. Was, um, was he alright in the end? Yeah. He did what was right. As you'll both find out soon, I'm sure. What? You'll see him, well, me, one more time yet. I shouldn't even be here, really. Well, at least we have you on record. And I hope that does make a positive change to the future. So, what will you two do now? Well, I'd better be returning to Torchwood. I think Henry and I need to write a report on what's happened here today. Yeah, sounds about right. Ugh, all that paperwork, it's so boring. You two should consider travelling with me again. Avoid all that. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine where I am, Doctor. But thank you all the same. Yeah, me too. I know. I'm proud of you both. Anyway, I'd best be going. I'll see you both around. Sure thing. Of course. Back to work? Yes, back to work. You'd better be considering a job at Torchwood, Henry. There'll come a time when the job offer isn't available anymore. Well, straight to the point. Like I said, I'll... Yeah, think about it. Sure. Right, well, um, I think we've earned a drink first. First round on me? That sounds great, Fraser. At the beginning, there was a single black infinitude. Then, the infinitude found release. The multiverse was born until catastrophic destruction. The multiverse was safe, guarded by the Warden of Time. However, it was reborn, rebuilt by the Warden. His energy lives in all of us now. Every existence multiplied by possibility, spread out across space and time with infinite opportunities. Dimensions rise, dimensions fall, and rise again against reality's continual expanse. Life! A precious gift given to us by the- Are you quite done? What do you want? We have some news. So, Count and Sir Ward, what's the news? Well, you tell him. A variant has been compromised. Are you sure? Positive. Show me, on screen. <sighs> this isn't one of your starships, Admiral. There is no data yet recorded. We came straight to you. Is this true? We are the inner circle, after all. We must take a look at the infinitude. What good will observing the infinitude do? There. A divergence. How is the variant compromised? The master. <sighs> what of him? He's taken over the body. Send a group of variants to intercept. It is too late. The variant's mind is long gone. So what does the master want? You know what he wants. The power of the warden. 
which means every single one of us is in danger. Which dimension? He has escaped that variance dimension and is currently lost. How is that possible? This is the master we are talking about. Then let's stop wasting time. Come with me. How many variants did you call? No. Every variant. <laughs> 